Hey guys, I just want to give you the heads up right out of the gate that this is going to be a very different video for my channel. This is not makeup related in any way. This is just me sharing a piece of me with you and just creating a video for basically posterity's sake. Every year since she's been born, I have written a birthday letter to Aspen and I have finally got around to writing Bennett his first birthday letter. And so I just wanted to read it and just film a little video of the letter for him to see when he's older and, like I said, to share just that little bit of me with you. Obviously I don't have the letter memorized, but I do have it up on my phone, and so I'm just going to read it. And that's, that's all this video is about, is just this letter to my son. So here we go. My sweet Bennett Gray, I am inexcusably late sending this letter to you. I used to think that people were exaggerating how differently the second child is treated than the first, but now I understand why this is. Life with two children is busy. Wonderfully, exhaustingly busy. Late as this may be, though, please, never doubt that you mean the world to me and that you are loved from the top of your head to the very bottom of your feet. While I was pregnant with Aspen, I kept a journal. I documented her development, my emotions, my physical state. I listed out the names we were considering and wrote of how excited we were to meet her. After hemorrhaging with you at 18 weeks, I couldn't bring myself to put pen to paper. It felt like tempting fate. I couldn't imagine how heartbreaking it would be to have to end the journal in the event of a miscarriage. And so I simply never started one. Instead, I kept a multitude of countdowns running. Literally, they were running on the iPad. A countdown to 23 weeks, as that would afford you a chance of survival. A countdown to 27 weeks so that you would be past the micro preemie stage. A countdown to 31 weeks, to 35 weeks, to 38 weeks. Interspersed with all of these goals were more minor countdowns to help break them up. Ones to Christmas, to New Year's, to Daddy's birthday, to Easter. All to help me feel like you and I were accomplishing something as frequently as possible. And to help me keep the terror at bay. If I could focus on small gains, I could distract myself from how far away April was. The upside to having a high-risk pregnancy was that I got to spend a lot of time communing with you. I spent my days in bed, and to fill that time I watched an unhealthy amount of Netflix, and I talked to you. I described everything I saw and did to you, and reassured you, us, repeatedly that everything was going to be fine. I told you how loved you were, and I sang to you. I spent a lot of time rubbing my belly with the hope that you could feel my touch. The best part was getting to see you grow during our bi-weekly ultrasound appointments. Seeing and hearing your heartbeat. It brought me so much joy that I often cried. You were born on a rainy Wednesday morning. You and I snuggled together almost non-stop for the next two days before we were allowed to go home. And even then, your favorite place to sleep was on my chest or on a pillow on my lap. And I loved it. You will still occasionally fall asleep in my arms and I treasure those moments beyond what I can describe. When I put you to bed at night, we always spend time cuddling. I hold you to my chest and you lay your head on my shoulder. You suck your thumb and gently play with my hair, and my soul restores itself. I breathe you in and kiss your head and pray that you will never be too big for a hug from your mom. You have brought so much joy and love to our lives. You and Aspen are completely smitten with each other, and Daddy and I love to see you play together. You call her Augie, which was one of the first words you ever said. In fact, you say that more consistently than you say mama. I hope that the two of you will remain best friends all throughout your lives. Bennett, you are so special to me. 
you're the answer to countless prayers. I love you beyond measure and wish that I knew the words to describe just how much you mean to me and what impact you've had on my life. I'm so blessed to have you in my life and I will always, always love you forever and a day. Mummy.